The color of choice at your next nail appointment may be cautionary yellow. A new study pointing the finger at UV lamps used to dry and cure gel nail polish. Researchers at UC San Diego and the University of Pittsburgh finding UVA light from dryers can damage DNA and cause mutations in human cells, potentially increasing the risk of skin cancer. Alarming results for the estimated 3 million Americans who visit nail salons each day. The industry bringing in more than $10 billion a year in the U.S. alone. Some regular gel manicure clients expressing their concern about the potential risk of nail dryers on social media. And I'm feeling really anxious about the damage I probably caused my hands. Hello. Dr. Chris Adigan, a dermatologist in Chapel Hill, North Carolina, explains gel polish won't solidify without this light. She says even dryers with LED bulbs emit some UVA rays. What do people need to know about putting their fingers into those UV lights? That radiation of UVA causes damage to the skin cells and that causes premature aging the skin and increases our risk of skin cancer. How much of that UVA exposure that's needed from these nail lamps that we have yet to discover. Adigan says more research is needed, but in the meantime, she says you don't have to scratch gel nails from your beauty routine. Just try to limit your UVA exposure. What is the best way to protect yourself if you want a gel manicure? I recommend patients use a UPF factor fabric or any kind of sun protective fabric to cover their hands. So wear a glove with the fingertips cut off? That's right. <laughs> kind of like bring back Madonna style. That's right. The American Academy of Dermatology also recommends applying a broad spectrum water resistant sunscreen with an SPF of 30 or higher. But Adigan says she prefers fabric over sunscreen. These sunscreens um, were tested based on our the UVA and UVB combination exposure from our sun. And the type of UVA exposure that is coming out of those lamps is very different than what's emitted from our sun. While the Food and Drug Administration considers UV dryers low risk when used as directed, some research shows certain lamps can emit UV radiation stronger than the sun. Skin cancer survivor Carolina Jasko believes nail dryers may have led to her diagnosis. When I was a senior in high school, I was diagnosed with melanoma. Jasko, who first shared her story with Today.com in 2019, says while at the nail salon, she noticed a black vertical line similar to these under one of her thumbnails. That's an early sign of melanoma. A malformed nail in the absence of trauma, that also needs to be evaluated for, by a dermatologist because that could be the early signs of a squamous cell carcinoma in the nail. When getting a manicure, Adigan says become a partner with your nail tech. Ask them to avoid pushing or cutting your cuticle because it helps protect your fingertips from inflammation and infection. Other tips to help keep you safe at the salon? Consider traditional nail polish instead of gel. Reserve gel for special occasions. And know the possible side effects of your medications. Some can increase your sensitivity to UV light. Advice to help you nail it when it comes to your health. And Adagon recommends taking a nail polish vacation at least once every mm. couple of months. That way you can actually see your natural nails and inspect them for abnormalities like those dark vertical lines, any redness, any inflammation. And if you're looking for an alternative to gel nails, dip powders are another choice and they don't require that UV light. So I, I did not know the thing about the dark line on your nail is an yeah, indicator of either. cancer. Exactly. An early sign of melanoma, Dr. So Adigan's if you have big gel manicures that you keep replacing, you never get a, even never a peek at see. that. Mm. Wow, I learned yeah. a lot. Me okay. too, Vicky. Thanks, Thank Vic. you very much. Al, over to you. Or just go with Jello manicures. Those are <laughs> much tastier. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day, or click the link right here.